Welcome to a new video series entitled Strategic Capitalism. I'm Richard Devaney from the Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth College, and in this video series, we'll be gaining insights about my latest book, Strategic Capitalism, New Economic Strategy for Winning the Capitalist Cold War. These short videos are interviews with senior executives and CEOs from a variety of industries talking about what it will take for America to win the capitalist Cold War. Times are tough, and you're one of the few companies that still does significant manufacturing in the United States, and I'm wondering, what can the government do for you to make it more attractive for you to make even more here? Yeah, well, first of all, I think we're very proud of the success uh, that we have here in our home country in the United States, uh, and for good reason. I, I think some of the most productive, most profitable businesses that we have uh, on this planet are here in the United States. So I think SPX is living proof that it can be done and it can be successful. I think more can be done. Uh, to attract and retain businesses uh, in the United States. Um, I, I think a, uh, uh, a tax and energy policy, just to start there, uh, that makes this an attractive place to establish business uh, is something that we have to be very thoughtful and very aggressive about pursuing. The world is a competitive place, um, and there are many attractive places to do business uh, in the United States. This should be one of them. This is one of the most stable cultures on Earth. It's one of the most stable economies on Earth, and it has one of the greatest work ethics, I think, uh, on Earth. And I think that I, I firmly believe that to the extent you can create an attractive business policy generally, and that is you know, tax and energy and regulation, uh, that really is uh, designed and focused to, um, to encourage business investment. Uh, if we can make that happen, I think the world will beat a path to our door. Um, and I think it can be done, and I think um, it's not that difficult. I think we have to get beyond um, some paradigms and some assumptions uh, in terms of um, how we think tax policy should work. And I think we need to be able to trust business and empower business to be able to, uh, to, create, uh, to create revenue and income and put money in the hands of the consumers so that uh, the economy can grow. And I don't think it's actually that complicated. How do you see the performance of the U.S. version of capitalism? Are we at a different uh, stage than we used to be? Should we be thinking about reforming our version of capitalism in light of the rise of state capitalism around the world? There's a number of company, countries rather that have uh, been trying to change the rules of the game in, uh, uh, in global trade and in uh, intellectual property and a whole number of other things. Uh, what's your sense of that and how would you try to fix it? I think American capitalism has been the engine uh, that, has, uh, that has driven growth and positive development in the world uh, for a long time. Um, I, think that can, I think that can happen again. I think it needs to happen again. Um, but I think, I think it depends on us focusing on creating uh, an attractive environment for business investment as opposed to worrying uh, too much about um, what other nations might impose or the fairness of their approach. Um, I think that if we can uh, foster business investment uh, in this country, um, I think the rest of that takes care of itself. I think um, our position should be more offensive than defensive in that respect. Um, and again, I think it gets to um, putting ourselves um, you know, beyond uh, uh, a situation that I believe we've gotten ourselves into uh, um, regarding fairness and, 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 uh, and, and who wins and who doesn't win and whether that's fair or not. I think if you create, um, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a disciple of Reaganomics. I, I think that if you, uh, if you empower uh, business uh, and allow it to be the engine to drive change and to create opportunity for people, um, I think good things just naturally flow from that. Um, and it should, be, it should be less punitive and, and more about creating opportunity. But to be able to do that, it, it requires you to put some trust uh, in the people who run businesses um, and to create those opportunities. There are a lot of good people out there who run businesses of all size, big businesses, small businesses, medium-sized businesses, 
but um, you have to you have to empower and enable those people to to make the investment and create the opportunity as opposed to you know shackle them with unreasonable burden um, and I think in, in in many respects that's that's actually happened over the last decade the revenue balance between international and domestic has, has changed drastically mm -hmm. uh, at SPX. Um, are you satisfied with the current balance being so international? Or th do you feel that you would like to rely more on the United States if it were a stronger growing marketplace? I'm satisfied that as the revenue profile has developed in SPX over the last seven years, we have been able to take advantage of where the opportunity was. Um, and much of, much of that opportunity just happens to be in developing parts of the world. Um, I'm proud that we've demonstrated the flexibility and frankly the courage to make the investment and establish a presence in those markets so we can be there to, to, to take advantage of it and, uh, and to drive success. Over time, I would like to see a greater uh, uh, percentage of opportunity be here in the United States. And I believe that that will happen. I think, um, I think there is a need for that to happen, and I think there is a consumer demand for that. Um, but I think, uh, I think that will occur naturally. Um, and, and, and one of the things that I think we're seeing in our business is um, over time, uh, the United States uh, will ultimately be um, that attractive place for business that it once was. I think it requires um, some change in direction uh, and a change in attitude um, among the policymakers in, in, in this country. I think we have to uh, stop demonizing business in terms of being the bad guy. From a consumer standpoint, if you can make that happen and, uh, and put more cash in the hands of consumers and, 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 and help uh, revive, um, uh, revive that economy and, uh, and, and create that level of confidence among people who need to um, spend and invest in the world, I think you can get there. I think that uh, um, I think we have to be more balanced in our approach. And what do you think the government can do uh, that would be the most important thing to help SPX in, in specific? Yeah, if you look at the businesses that we're in, um, I think uh, a number of things can happen. Um, I think a tax policy uh, that um, encourages corporate investment, um, that encourages repa repatriation of cash that's generated outside the United States so that it comes back here and gets reinvested in the United States is important. I think a reasonable energy policy uh, that encourages investment in replacing aged infrastructure uh, in this country is very important. Um, I think all of those things will benefit SPX. And when you look at how broad uh, our end markets are, um, if, it, if it does benefit S SPX, I think it's a good proxy for business in general. And uh, um, we'd love to see that happen.